Welcome to Live on KEXP. I'm your host, DJ Morgan, from Listener Powered Independent 90.3 FM KEXP in Seattle. We stream online at kexp.org and our free mobile apps. And we are so happy to be out at the Thing Music Festival for day two of performances here at Fort Warden State Park in Port Townsend, Washington. And we have a live audience with us today. Welcome, everyone. How are you doing? <laughs> awesome. So good to see everyone out here bright and early. Uh, it, it's noon, I guess it's not so early, but we're glad you're here with us, and uh, we're so excited to welcome back to the KXP Airwaves, Leifei, welcome! Thank you so much for having me. Of course, we're so glad to have you back. Take it away. <laughs> Don't you notice how I get quiet when there's no one else around Me and you in awkward silence Don't you dare look at me that way I don't need reminders of how you don't feel the same Oh, the burning pain Listening to you harp on Blah, 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 oh, how I wish you'll wake up one day Run to me, confess your love, at least just let me say That when I talk to you, Cupid walks right through and shoots on the It's worse. 
just to be nothing with you. I 
try to think straight but I'm falling so badly I'm coming apart He wrote me a note, cast a spell on my heart And bewitched me That was Bewitch, the, the title track to my new album. Um, yeah, this last one's called Valentine. I've rejected affection. It's kind of weird He tells me I'm pretty Don't know how to respond I tell him that he's pretty too Can I say that I don't have a clue? With every passing moment I surprise myself I'm scared of flies I'm scared of guys Someone please help Cause I think I've fallen in love this time I blinked and suddenly I had a Control of my heartbeat now 
got caught in a romance with him somehow I still feel a shock through every bone When I hear an I love you Cause now I've got someone to lose The first one to ever like me back I'm seconds away from a heart attack how the hell did I fall in love this time? And honestly, I can't believe I get to call you mine I blinked and suddenly I had a It's Lebe live on KXP from Think Festival. That was beautiful. So good. Oh. <laughs> it's so wonderful to have you here. Thank you very much again for coming back to KXP. The last time we saw you was 2021, just a couple yeah, of years ago. It was a ago. while ago. I was just thinking about it. So much has happened. That's so crazy. much has happened. Yeah. The last time we saw you, you had just released your first EP, Typical Me. Yeah. Since then, you've put out your debut album, Everything I Know About Love, just last year. Yeah, uh, it's a year old today. Actually. A year old today. Yeah. That's awesome. Cool. <laughs> You're celebrating here with us. I love it. <laughs> you put out a couple of live albums with symphony orchestras, and then you're uh, just a couple weeks away from releasing your second album, Bewitched, on September 8th, which is so exciting. Congratulations on all of your amazingly well-earned um, accolades and, and uh, all of the fan base that you've gained over the last couple of years. How has all of that felt? It's been just so incredible. I almost can't believe it. It really, um, you know, it's like I'm in the same body as I was in, you know, two years ago when I was here. But um, yeah, I'm just so honored that you know, that people are willing to listen to the music that I make that, you know, is kind of a little bit different, but um, it's so fun. I feel like I found a community of like-minded people. That's amazing. I was thinking about the style of music that you're, you're like breathing new life into. So, um, you know, my brother-in-law was a jazz guy and my sister was super into jazz vocalist too. So I grew up listening to Sarah Vaughn and Chet Baker. Um, similarly to you, just loving that sort of music and thinking that that was very static and, and set in time and it was never going to happen again. But so exciting to see you bringing it forward to the, the new generation and making it your own and bring, making it more modern. It's so cool. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that's kind of, kind of the hope. I always knew, you know, I grew up listening to those records as well, and there was a, a certain magic in it, and, and I think I wanted to preserve that but also make something new out of it. And, um, and yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been a fun ride. Awesome. So your upcoming tour is already sold out. Uh, we can pre-order your vinyl for Bewitched, yes. yes. You can. <laughs> Excellent. Can you tell us a little bit about the, the upcoming record? Like, where did you record it? What's, what's it about? Yeah, so Bewitched is, um, it's a love album. And um, yeah, it's kind of, I think I really made a return to my like jazz and classical roots. I really leaned into that. We have, you know, a couple of recordings with, we have Jazz Standard, um, that we just recorded live with a jazz quartet and um, trio, sorry, and, you know, two songs uh, that we recorded with a Philharmonia orchestra. So um, with the first album, I kind of tried to, because I wasn't really sure how, you know, people would take on to this very jazzy sound. So I was mixing it a little bit and dipping my toes into a little bit more like modern production and stuff like that. And I loved that so much. But what I found after that album was actually that um, the stuff that, people and especially young people seem to really like were the songs that were you know most like jazz standards or um literally songs recorded with symphony orchestras which is so great because that's what comes most naturally to me and what I enjoy the most so I really leaned into that for this album I think it's a little more mature it's a little darker and um yeah but it's still you know the story of my life they're all personal kind of little anecdotes and and yeah, I'm really, really excited about it. That's so cool. And these songs have those feelings of those old jazz standards too, where they stick in your brain and it's like those <laughs> songs have always existed. I can imagine that's probably why people are really connecting to those too. Um, 
That's very per- kind of you. Thank you. Yeah, particularly that song from the start. It's so good. That was the first oh, song you played you. in that set, and uh, you just released a music video for that. What, I did like yeah. four days like ago, four or five days ago. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. already got like over a million views, which is just incredible. Uh, I know. I just saw it this morning. It's like, my God, what's happening? Um, I love it. That video is amazing. Can you tell us about it? It's so stylized. It's gorgeous. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Well, that was kind of the brainchild of my twin sister, who's my creative director. Um, Yunia, she she understands me obviously better than most, being that we you know pretty much share a brain and body. But um, <laughs> you know, it, yeah, we. I knew I wanted. I was very you know the this bossa nova sound that from the start has. I think it, it kind of reminds me of these like kind of like old films, like these kind of very stylish like old French films and. And um, yeah, we were very inspired by, you know, like Bauhaus architecture and um, like Mondrian, like this yeah. kind of mid-century just world. And yeah, I kind of, I, the way I see it is I kind of wanted it, kind of wanted to embody like a bratty, like teenager in the 60s in this like gorgeous house yeah. and just like dance around. And yeah, it was fun. It was my first time working with a choreographer as well. So I got to dance a bit and we uh, did it all on film, which was really, really brought like a special touch to it. So yeah, I had a lot of fun making it and, and yeah. That's cool to know that it was filmed on actual film. It does yeah. have that richness. Uh, exactly. Yeah. I only had like one take to get the dance right. I was like, oh. <laughs> nice work. That's awesome. It really does look like something from the sixties was filmed today. You like, you oh, nailed it. <laughs> great. Thank you. That's exactly what we were going for. So cool. Um, you released another single that's from the upcoming record just a couple days ago to California yeah. and me. Can you tell us a little bit about that song? Well, California and me is kind of well, I wrote the I wrote the album in in California in L.A. or well, between L.A. and London, and um, and yeah, it's this. I wanted I got a piano for my own piano for the first time. It's like a little baby grand piano, and it really really influenced my writing for this album. So there's a lot more piano driven stuff, and this was kind of my first really piano driven song in that I was really working out the arrangement. Usually I just like use some chords and it changes every time, but this was like a true arrangement that I worked on for a couple of days and was very inspired by like classical composers like Liszt and and um, Rachmaninoff in that specific song and and so off off the bat I knew I wanted to kind of have a symphony orchestra on it and I'd released a song with the Philharmonia Orchestra called Let You Break My Heart Again before and and it's one of my more popular songs so I thought it'd be really fun to bring them back in for this and also the song just called for like a big orchestra and and that kind of cinematic sound I just wanted the song to be very large in that way and kind of there are a lot of I wanted the music to sound like waves on in the ocean because oh, the song wow. is kind of talking about like the the chorus is left left me in the ocean for for New York basically but, yeah yeah oh it's so cool what is the experience like of singing with an entire symphony that must be amazing and oh, you God. must feel like a superhero it's incredible <laughs> yeah it's amazing it's like it's like a 360 experience. It's like music is coming at you from every single angle. And it's, yeah, it's just incredible. It, there's nothing that feels like it. You really do feel kind of like a god standing in the middle there. Yeah, right? <laughs> I feel like not a lot of people get that experience too. So that's very cool it's, that you have yeah, that experience. Yeah, it's, it's so incredible. And, and growing up playing classical music and, you know, I've played concertos with orchestras before, but it's never been like that like singing with an orchestra and singing these songs that I like wrote in my bedroom at like 2 a.m and hearing you know all these real adults play it is like wild (laughs) that's so cool that's so surreal yeah it's wild that's amazing um I know you're a big reader too last year you launched a book club which is the coolest thing please tell me about this yeah well I um I started reading a lot last year. I kind of, I graduated college and and I thought, well, if I don't start reading now, I'm I'm gonna go stupid. So <laughs> I know that feeling. <laughs> <laughs> um, which you know I still am. So I don't know how much the books are helping, but I like to. I I, I think I heard somewhere you know to be a writer you have to be a reader, mm-hmm. and and I think that's the same with with music. So I. Yeah, it was another part of the album process. You know, I started reading a lot and and kind of taking inspiration from books. I was, 
I was reading about how Taylor Swift was reading books and then connecting them into songs in folklore and evermore. And I thought it was so clever. And I was like, I want to be like that. Nice. So yeah, it was kind of, you know, there's a wealth of information in books and, and I kind of, I wanted to find a way to connect with my fan base kind of outside of just, you know, my regular social media. And I thought, you know, the book club is kind of, it's, I say it's like a low stakes book club. So yeah. at the beginning of the month and I choose a book <laughs> and then we all kind of read it. And, and then I have a live stream at the end of it. And, um, and we all kind of, you know, talk about the book a bit and then we just end up talking about life. And it's a really fun way to get to, you know, talk to, talk to the fans. Yeah, that's a really refreshing way to connect with people too. Is <laughs> like having an activity and something yeah. that you can you can like intellectualize over. It's fun. Well, neat. I always wanted to be a part of a book club, so I just made my own. Yeah, yeah. If you if you can't find a group, make your own. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> How, how's the engagement been with it? How's the membership? It's great. It, cool. Really, really good. I've been a little bit poor keeping up with it the past couple of months, just because I've been touring a lot. But I'm gonna jump back on it soon and. And um, yeah, it's really it's really fun and special. That's awesome. Yeah. Another really neat thing you did um, was you leaked your first album via sheet music that you yeah. hid in books too. <laughs> tell that me, was really funny. Tell me about that. And also, did you get any responses from it? Like, did somebody record the sheet music and send oh. it back to you or anything like oh, that? Oh, absolutely. <gasps> really? Well, for me, it was kind of like a joke because everyone made fun of me for sight reading because <laughs> I went. I ended up going to jazz school, so like nobody really sights read sight reads there and yeah. and I just thought it was kind of funny you know growing up an orchestra nerd like yeah. to be like ha huh, like here's the album I leaked the entire thing but <laughs> but like if you can't read that's your problem like figure it out and um it was <laughs> yeah I got I got a personal kick out of it I don't know if other people thought it was as funny but um I love but, it <laughs> yeah it was so fun because it was like a week leading up to it so it gave people some time to record and and learn it and and I was hearing all these like different renditions of the song and and it was of the songs and it was so cool. That's amazing. Yeah, it was fun. You are my nerd hero. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Everything you do, I'm like, that is so cool. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah it's, these are new times. I know. Yeah. You're you're connecting it to the old and bringing it to the modern times perfectly. Exactly. Thank yeah. you for being that ambassador. <laughs> I'm very happy to lead the way. <laughs> nice. Levy, it's been a pleasure having you here. Thank you oh, so much. All mine. Thank you. Thank you. Let's give her another round of applause. And thank you all for being here. <laughs> and thank you all for watching and listening. You can find more of these sessions live from Thing for the rest of the weekend. You can find our schedule and all of our sessions at our YouTube channel and subscribe there, of course. And all of these sessions are made possible with support from people like you. So if you'd like to support these sessions financially, you can make a gift at kxp.org slash live. And this has been Leve live on KXP from the Thing Music Festival. Discover new music at listener-kexp.org.